Uh, hello everyone. Uh, it's been quite a week as we all try to find different ways of living and working and worshipping. Uh, we're going to do much more of this kind of thing over the next few weeks and months. Uh, please be patient with us as we work out the best ways to do that. But what I thought we could do today is simply join together in prayer. I'm going to use the first few opening responses from the communion prayer. Then I'll leave some time for silence for you to respond. And then I'll pray for us all together and finish with a blessing. I hope that's okay. So here we go. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. So just a few seconds for you to give your thanks and praise to the Lord as we gather together like this. So, Father, thank you for your presence with us, even in really difficult times. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the Good Shepherd and you will lead us and guide us. Holy Spirit, please pour out the love of the Father into our hearts and drive out, uh, drive out our fear. Lord, we also ask for peace between husbands and wives, peace between parents and children, peace between different members of families, peace between us and our neighbours. Lord, we ask that you give us wisdom in those new ways of living and working and worshipping. We ask for good sleep. We ask for a sense of your presence with us day by day. And Lord, uh, in our fear, may we know your presence. Thank you that courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is doing the right thing when we are afraid. So, Lord, give us courage for such a time as this, we pray. Amen. Let's share together in the Lord's Prayer, the family prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and always. Amen. So may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. God bless. Talk to you soon.